Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah from Ugly Duckling House and I've got a new project for you today. For those of you who don't follow along on my Instagram or my blog, you may have missed the announcement that I'm currently expecting. And we've got a little guy on the way in November. To make room for him here in this house, I've decided to make over my upstairs office into the new nursery. And I've started with this first project emphasizing some of the color scheme that I'm gonna put in this room. And speaking of color, thank you very much to Minwax for sponsoring this video and project. And you can check out more than 200 colors available in their new water-based solid color stain. This stain product offers a huge color deposit in a very short amount of time, making it perfect for projects like this. So I'm gonna jump right in and let's see how it's made. For this project, I headed to Lowe's to grab all of my supplies, including sandpaper, some red oak, and Minwax's water-based solid color stain. There are a small number of pre-mixed colors on the shelf, but for the rest, you'll need to head to the paint desk to have them mixed for you. There are over 200 colors listed on the Minwax website, but you can also get the color custom matched to just about any color you need. For the specific colors I used in this project, you can find a full supply list in the video description. Once home, I cut down the piece of plywood I bought into the dimensions I wanted to work with and then did a rough sketch for the mountain scene I was going for. I was partially inspired by vintage park posters, but I wanted simple layers of color for the nursery. I then began cutting out some of the mountain layers on thin pieces of red oak with my scroll saw, letting my sketches act as a guide but no real need to be super exact. The only piece that really needed to be a more defined shape was the sun, so I put in a little bit more effort with my sander to round out the cut. Then for each piece, I rounded and smoothed the corners of every edge with a dremel to soften the look of each cut. I hand sanded all of the pieces and the backing using finer and finer grits of sandpaper up to 220, then marked the back of each piece so I could keep track of the order in which to stain. Quick tip, on any type of layered wood project, labeling each piece is a lifesaver. Stain application goes on so fast that it's easy to lose track of what goes where. Next up, I added wood conditioner to every piece, painting in the direction of the grain and wiping off the excess with a stain pad. The purpose of a wood conditioner is simply to allow a more uniform stain coat and prevent things like streaks and blotches in the final product. Wood conditioner may also raise the grain a little, so be sure to check before applying stain and do another quick sanding if the grain needs to be knocked down again. The plywood backing was going to be stained with this peach color, so I mixed a little bit of the peach and the white stain together to create the color for the sun. For each stain application, you'll want to apply in the direction of the grain and then wipe off in the direction of the grain again with a synthetic pad. As you can see, the solid color stain goes on nice and thick, almost like paint, except when you wipe it off, some of the wood grain still peeks through. On some of the darker layers, I wanted less of the wood grain to show, so I did a second application of stain. I found that the best results came from painting a nice thick layer of stain on the piece and then almost immediately wiping it off, just a couple of minutes at the most. Since this happened so fast, you'll want to have your supplies ready to go. A few times during this process, I didn't even take the time to mount the synthetic pad on the applicator, so I could just start wiping stain away. If you're looking for fast color deposit, this is definitely for you. Some of the layers were meant to transition between stain colors, so I wound up mixing a few together. These colors actually mix extremely well, a lot, again, like using paint. I'm a little sad that some of the darker colors didn't show up as well here on camera as they do in person. It doesn't quite do it justice, and the wood green peeking out of each piece is really nice to see when the light hits. To seal and protect, I added some polycrylic in a clear matte finish, which goes on kind of milky white, but then dries to a very subtle, clear sheen. I noticed at Lowe's that there's also an ultra flat version that I haven't tried yet personally, but if you're looking for something that doesn't have any sheen, that's probably your best bet. Now comes the fun part, and the part where I almost ruined the entire project. As I glued and nailed on each piece layer by layer, I noticed that I was going to wind up needing to cut the backing down once it was ready to be framed. For something like this, it's probably better to have a table saw because my attempts to get a clean cut through all of the layers left a few gaps that were more obvious when I tried to frame. So I wound up taking things back apart and cutting the sides piece by piece on my miter saw. A bit nerve wracking to hit a snag like this, but I'm glad it was recoverable. 
Oh, and one more thing. Using some of your scrap pieces from your scrolling earlier can add stability behind any of the thicker layers. I made a simple frame as a border using regular Minwax stain in the yellow can, then glued and nailed a few plywood strips to the back. This added a little lip from which to hang the piece on the wall. So there you have it. I've got brand new art for the nursery and I'm well on my way to finishing the rest of the makeover in this space. Thank you so much to Minwax for sponsoring this project and I have a few more ideas in store for Minwax products later on this year that I'll be posting about on this channel. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button so that I know that you want to see more projects like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Hey friends, how's it going? I'm Sarah from Ugly Duckling House. And their pants get too tight. These videos are now hotter to make. There you go. There's the bump. See the bump? There's the bump. And I have more ideas in store for Minwax products later on on this channel, so be sure to tune in for that. Sigh. <sighs>